Don't forward my call. I know where you live. Uh oh. Someone may be expecting a visit or a visitor or an unexpected visitor. Someone may have gotten tired of trying to call. Someone may have someone blocked. Why cry for someone when you can laugh with someone else? This is someone who may have um, done you dirty in some sort of way, so you may have blocked them. But someone may end up just showing up where you live, so be careful about that. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. This could have something to do with children or a child. Um, this could do with like a parent picking up a child. Um, someone may not call, someone may just show up. Like maybe if there's like a custody arrangement, something like that. <clears throat> I'm always rich when I go to the dollar store. So someone may be um, broke and needing some money or penny pinching, watching their spending where they need to. As long as there are tests, there will be prayer in school. So someone may have been trying to test you, tempt you in some sort of way. This is someone who likes to push your buttons. This person laughs at your problems. They think it's funny when you have problems. They'll catch more flies with honey than vinegar. So this person just does things. It's like this person's full of piss and vinegar. You know what I'm saying? Like this person does things out of spite. You actually have stuff to do. I actually have stuff to do. So you have stuff to do. And someone likes to mess up your plans. Fortune favors the brave. So they're experiencing some bad luck in the reverse here. So someone's experiencing some bad luck. They're feeling spiteful, so they're trying to take some stuff out on you. I wasn't mad before, but now I am. So someone's mad, or you're going to be mad, or someone's going to, someone's going to be mad uh, because you have stuff to do, um, you know. And it's like you may be, um, you know, you may have a full schedule, and someone, it's. <sighs> It's like you try to work around everyone else's schedule, but everyone likes to mess up your schedule, especially this person. Um, this particular person, whoever it is, they like to get under your skin, get on your nerves, so they like to mess up your schedule or whatever you have planned. So they do things unexpectedly, like if they say they're going to be there at a certain time, something like that. This is the kind of person that would um, show up at a different time just to mess with your plans, no call, just show up. <clears throat> You may not have this person blocked. Maybe they just don't like to let you know what they're doing ahead of time. But some for some reason, they're like in your business. Um, so these came out sideways. Secret, balance, and trust. So Libra energy, balance, or some sort of secret balance being restored or needing to be restored here. And trust, you may be trusting that balance is going to be restored for you. You may be holding a secret or somebody knows a secret and they're scared. Maybe someone thinks that you know their secret and so they could be scared. Maybe somebody did something shady and they're afraid you know. And so out of spite, just to be a dick, they could be interfering with your plans, just disrupting you, trying to mess up your energy, get you in your head. Rebirth, there's a transformation, there's a change coming. Rebirth, you're trusting in changes in this rebirth that's coming for you. And this has someone scared. How are you so calm? Why aren't you freaking out? Someone lost their patience. They don't have any patience. Patience is in the reverse here. So they could have done something impulsively out of fear. Without thinking through the consequences of their actions. Somebody is definitely acting childish. Yeah, love spell didn't work. You've been bewitched in the reverse. So if somebody did a love spell on you, it didn't work. <clears throat> it could have backfired on someone. Or you're not in love with someone. Um, and maybe this is bothering them. Because you're not under some spell. Whether it's a legit spell. Or this person just uses emotionally manipulative tactics to get what they want. Maybe they feel like you love them. And they can just get away with treating you any kind of way. But someone is not under a love spell. It doesn't mean they didn't try. That's because the lost loved one watches over you. You have guardian angels. You have protection. Your ancestors watch over you. Someone is still trying to figure themselves out with sexuality here. So someone may be confused about their sexuality or what they want to do, how they want to proceed. Um, this could even be someone wanting... Um, or not sure if they want to be like in a monogamous relationship or if they want to stay in like their player energy or ho energy. 
but this person could want you to be obsessed with them or love them or be in love with them. It's like somebody wants you to be in love with them, but they could be confused about what they want. So let's get in here and see what this is all about. Someone got left out in the cold. There's an empress here that got left out in the cold. And someone's experiencing some bad luck. So this could have been someone who left an empress out in the cold. Or it could have been an empress that left somebody out in the cold. <clears throat> and then we have the queen of cups. So this could be a divine femme that somebody did um, kind of dirty. And they've been experiencing some bad luck. Because of what they did about leaving an empress out in the cold. Mother, wife, lover, queen of cups energy. Someone who's loving, caring, compassionate, emotionally balanced. And it's kind of funny if you're so emotionally balanced. If you're this divine feminine, you're emotionally balanced. This person trying to mess with your emotions, you're not in your emotions. You could be in your queen of swords energy, so you could be balanced. Um, or there could be two feminine energies here. Um, it could be it could be a feminine energy here who's experiencing some bad luck for leaving you out in the cold, and you could be the queen of swords. So this could be a same-sex situation um, with someone confused about their sexuality. So this could be two feminine energies or two masculines and their feminine energies. You don't take it how it resonates. Um, but someone was under judgment, and there's some sort of addiction or obsession that somebody suffers from. Somebody could be addicted to another person um, or addicted to causing an ending and stealing something, a thief. Some sort of addiction or obsession. There's something coming to a permanent ending here with a thief or someone spying, watching, stalking. So this is like, I just heard deadly obsession. This could be a feminine, a jealous feminine. Okay, so the Queen of Cups, just because they're in the upright, doesn't mean that they are in the upright. It can mean that they're still in your energy or they're in your energy now. And they left somebody out in the cold. So this could be a feminine, an empress, who experienced bad luck for leaving someone out in the cold. But they have this obsession or addiction to this Queen of Swords. Either with causing a permanent ending and spying on them, stalking them. Like, there's some sort of deadly obsession that this feminine has with this other feminine. It's kind of weird. It's a weird energy. This feminine could be obsessed with wanting... Um, <clears throat> to have some sort of relations with this um queen of swords so it could be um you know if this queen of cups is technically in the reverse then this person may be emotionally unbalanced they have some healing they need to do um like i said just because they came out in the upright doesn't mean it's in the upright it means this person is still has some sort of addiction or obsession but there's an ending coming to this with the spying, watching, stalking, harassing, <clears throat> justice being balanced out because someone's in their life's calling and this person's a high priestess. And there's an emperor involved in this as well. So this queen of swords could be straight. So, okay, I just got to say it, you know, this maybe this queen of swords and this queen of cups had a little fling, doesn't have to. Okay, this Queen of Swords could be completely straight, and it could be this Queen of Cups who's confused about their sexuality. They may be attracted to this feminine, and this other feminine, this Queen of Swords, isn't paying them any attention because there's an Emperor here and the High Priestess. So one of these feminines is a High Priestess here, and there's an Emperor. There's a masculine energy involved, so I feel like one of these feminines are straight. But there's a, one of these feminines is in love with the other one. shoot okay so someone could be trying to put someone in a third party situation with an emperor and a star someone who has divine protection a divine connection there was not a positive outcome for someone who left another person out in the cold someone um who was in a partnership
And this could even be a masculine who was like in a relationship with one of these feminines and they were going to leave this feminine for another feminine and this other feminine's like hold up wait a minute i want this chick too like i don't know like this is messed up there's an emperor here who wants a third party i don't, normally i look at that as like a celebration but i feel like somebody this emperor wants like both of these women and this other woman could be like obsessed with the other woman but the other woman may be straight so this is an odd energy, I'm not gonna lie. But there's like a that triangle energy I'm picking up, like on a triangle kind of energy. Someone who's not an official person though, and there's an emotional situation. So someone who is not an official person created a very emotional situation. They didn't have a positive outcome. That could be a religious figure. <clears throat> That could be a separate person altogether, or it could be this masculine energy who's trying to juggle two females, and one of these females is in love with the other. <laughs> oh, this official person couldn't travel or move, or they traveled to try to stop someone from getting the offer that they've been waiting for. They were juggling. So, this religious figure, this hierophant energy, may have traveled to do something or tried to stop someone from traveling and getting the offer that they want or deserve. So this masculine could have been trying to stop a queen of swords from getting what um, they want, like a relationship they deserve with a masculine who's free, single, because I feel like the queen of swords energy could be straight, but there's this masculine and this other feminine, you know, so there's a masculine and feminine that want something to do with this female this masculine is someone that was in a union whether it's with you or this other feminine and this other feminine has an obsession with a divine femme and this masculine was trying to juggle both of these females or juggle two of pe two people somewhere around here and i feel like it's uh you know it could all be connected for some of you There was a betrayal here with somebody juggling. So this masculine betrayed one feminine with another feminine possibly. And um, it could also be that this feminine may not necessarily want to have an intimate relationship with this divine femme, but they could be obsessed with trying to copy them or be them so that this masculine will want to be with them. Uh, but I feel like there's some there's someone here who's confused about their sexuality. I feel like this female's like kind of secretly in love with this divine femme. There's going to be some sort of communication that's going to bring a tower moment. Someone's facing heavily burdens, but they have the strength to get through this and persevere through it. So there was a lie about someone traveling towards someone else to make them an offer. So someone lied. No, I didn't travel towards this person. No, I don't want to be with this person. No, I don't want my ex. No, blah, blah, blah. Something was a lie. This masculine was juggling two females, and they were lying about traveling towards someone. And, um... Wanting to give them a couple of those. But this female could want to be with her too. Like maybe she started watching this female and she kind of fell in love with her too. Or maybe she already did or she's just jealous or envious of this female. Um, but I feel like this person normally, under normal circumstances, could be a loving and caring person. Like normally would be a kind-hearted person. But there's something that struck this person with like jealousy obviously if there's a betrayal here that would invoke some feelings of envy and jealousy so it might not necessarily be this other feminine's fault because i don't i don't get the energy that this other female is necessarily an evil person or a bad person but this masculine was definitely trying to juggle two females here yeah king of swords someone was cold-hearted vampire you know, they just wanted what they could get out of a situation. Someone is spending a lot of time in hermit mode and isolation, queen of wands. Someone who'd be like a natural born leader kind of energy. And there's a group here or a family, um, you know, people coming together, working together to help this person. So there's someone here who's spending a lot of time alone, healing from a heartbreak. Okay. So let's, we can look at this another way too. Um, these could all be completely separate people. 
Um, so there may be a Queen of Cups that was um, cheating with a female because she found out her partner, whoever she was with, this emperor, lied about hooking up with a Queen of Wands. So, I mean, it could go a few different ways. This is kind of a tricky situation here. Uh, but there's a King of Swords, someone who was lying and dishonest about hooking up with a Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords could be the same person. Or it could be someone altogether. It could be that these are completely two different situations. Remember, this is a collective reading, so some parts may apply, some may not. But we definitely have that masculine energy who is the king of swords. And this masculine is dealing with two females and, um, or yeah, elite, juggling. They're juggling maybe up to three females, okay, because we have the queen of cups, the queen of swords, and the queen of wands. Um, the queen of cups and queen of swords could have something going on. Um, or maybe did at one time, like I said, they could have had like a little fling or something. Um, the Queen of Swords could have been questioning um, whether or not she wanted to leave this masculine. Um, the Queen of Swords could be the one who's married to this King of Swords, and it could have been the Queen of Cups that someone is in love with, okay? Someone who's loving, caring, and compassionate. So this can go a few different ways. Um, so if the King and Queen of Swords here are the married couple, then someone could have, like, used um, a Queen of Cups involved in a situation like um a threesome kind of situation um but then this king of swords was hooking up with a queen of wands or something because there's someone here who's in isolation there's a queen of wands who's in isolation healing so maybe this feminine is dealing with another feminine like the queen of swords and the queen of cups are a situation and then this masculine is lying about traveling and hooking up with the queen of wands so someone is getting enlightened with to a big piece of information ace of swords truth there's a huge truth um that someone is realizing or going to find out that came out sideways so that's now in your future energy some sort of truth is going to be revealed about this situation I feel like more it's more like the king and queen of swords could be the married couple the queen of cups is someone um maybe the wife the queen of swords could be in love with the queen of cups however the situation is there's two females and i already explained it one's in love with the other one one's leaning more towards the straight side maybe they're confused maybe they had a little fling thing and um you know maybe they want to stay married to their husband but now their husband whoever this masculine is sneaking off to a queen of wands Maybe this female's tired of dealing with her masculine shit, so she's like, you know what, maybe I just want to be gay after all. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm tired of this man's bullshit. I don't know. So there was a decision that needed to be made. There was someone who was at a crossroads, and there's a Queen of Cups who was seen as a treasure. So it could be this Queen of Swords who is viewing this Queen of Cups as a treasure. This, this, um, you know, there's a high priestess here, whether it's the Queen of Cups or uh, Queen of Swords, could even be the Queen of Wands, but there's a high priestess here amongst all these. And then the Three of Cups again. So there's the Queen of Cups here, a treasure, and a, a threesome situation here, a, a third party thing. So there's a Queen of Cups who's part of... Uh, part of this marriage somehow or another this situation and someone views this person as a treasure the risky commitment looked like it wanted to come out i'm gonna leave it in there and see if it comes out again challenge here uh someone Someone didn't get a love offer that they were expecting, or there was an unsuccessful love relationship and a loss of family stability. Someone was not someone's ten of cups, someone's happiness. So this could be a separation within a family or a divorce. It could be a masculine and feminine who's married but leaving, like, li living, not leaving, living two separate lives, but they live under the same roof. So 
someone was tempted by the low-hanging fruit, a queen of swords. So there's a weakness here. It could be this queen of swords who has a weakness. Or no, that's a queen of pentacles. I thought that was a queen of swords. Um, there was a weakness and a temptation regarding a queen of pentacles. So someone was at a crossroads and they were tempted... They were weak, and there's a Queen of Pentacles energy here. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles can go hand in hand. They can go together. So someone walked away. So someone was weak. Um, you know, they were easily tempted. They fell for the low-hanging fruit. So this could be a masculine who wants to walk away from a marriage or a partnership to hook up with this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles could be the same person. Otherwise, every every damn woman, feminine energy in this deck has come out. There's an emperor here. And if you are a high priestess or empress, you can be any of the feminine energies. But the high priestess is, like, embodying, like, everything. Like, this masculine here, there's an emperor here. They see this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands energy as like the whole package. But then we have this Queen of Cups, and there's like a third party situation going on here. And it could be this masculine juggling two other feminines. Like I said, I feel like these are two people in the same house living two separate lives. So, another um, scenario here Queen of Cups is dealing with the Queen of Swords, and this masculine could be juggling a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles. So, um, there's a lot going on here. That is another possibility. I, I just heard there's a lot of sex going on. <laughs> Whatever the situation is. A lot of people um, meeting up. We have the star here. There was some sort of decision that was made and it caused an injury. So... We have someone who has divine protection or divine connection who could be injured by a decision that was made by somebody. Uh, there was an injury to someone's financial stability, so there's a divine femme or masculine, okay? There's a divine somebody, the star here that has suffered some sort of injury to their financial stability <clears throat> and judgment has been called and someone is pissed off because whatever decision someone made it did not result in a positive outcome and now this star is fighting a lot of battles and conflict on their own because we have a king of cups someone who created a new cycle of emotions for everyone involved so there's a king of cups here in the reverse that did not have a positive outcome because of a decision they made this emotionally, this masculine could be unbalanced. Um, we already know that someone is not honest. This could also be one of these feminines <laughs> within the group dealing with another masculine. So, like I said, there's a lot going on here. A lot of players in this game. Hope y'all are using protection, man. It, it looks like a lot of stuff going on. I hope y'all are exchanging your cooties. Practice safe, you know what? You know what I mean? So this masculine could have made a decision based on impulse. You know, they were being selfish and emotional. They were in their emotions. They made a decision, and this could have affected this Divine Femme in some sort of negative way. Someone here is moving on to calmer waters. This King of Cups was in a relationship with somebody. There was a partnership here that this King of Cups was connected to. There could be a lot of talk going, a gathering, people meeting up. And some sort of swift action regarding a Queen of Pentacles who is a High Priestess. So there's a Queen of Pentacles here who is a High Priestess. <clears throat> so this is like everything wrapped in one this queen of pentacles is like everything wrapped in one this person is a high priestess they're moving on to calmer waters here there's a lot of talk about this person and um somebody could wanting to t be wanting to take some sort of swift action to help this person or partner up with this person so this is 
an ex of the Queen of Pentacles that is causing this person problems. Like I said, there's a lot of layers to this that's going on. I'm trying to break it down as best I can here. Um, but this masculine is connected to the Queen of Pentacles. And this emperor over here, who could have been the King of Swords, was juggling a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Wands. This could be an emperor that wants to to make this Queen of Pentacles a solid offer, but they're dealing with, you know, there's just a lot going on here. There's like a there's com, a lot of commitment. Like I'm seeing commitment, but not commitment. Like there's a commitment, there's a deal, there's a marriage or something, but it's like people living completely separate lives, like very much so. And this masculine. The King of Swords was juggling two feminines, and then there's a whole other situation going on here. Someone's not able to travel, or they travel to do something, so this King of Cups could have traveled to do something or was trying to stop his Queen of Pentacles from traveling or stop someone from traveling towards them for moving forward. Someone was secretly traveling towards the Queen of Pentacles, or someone's ex was secretly traveling towards them. They could have been driving by their house, stalking them, watching them. This person's not held in high honor. And this Queen of Pentacles is persevering through this these burdens that her ex is putting on her. So it's like this Queen of Pentacles is trying to just get on with their life and this her ex will not let her move on. Maybe she knows, maybe she doesn't know that this other emperor that she's dealing with could be trying to juggle her too. Um, there could be a third party situation going on that with that. Um, and then of course you have the queen of cups who's caught in the middle between this king of swords and, then, and the queen of cups. Oh my God. That was unexpected. My cars just went everywhere. Okay. There's a permanent ending here, for, and then a King of Wands. So, so someone could be in their player energy because they there was a betrayal, an emperor in the reverse. Their financial stability could have been affected. So there's a permanent ending involving a King of Wands here who may have been an emperor in reverse, someone who was being a player, someone who caused a betrayal. You know, who the hell is this masculine connected to? Which one of these? <laughs> My goodness gracious, great ball of fire. There's competition here. Oh my god, holy hell. Oh, who's this King of Wands competing with? Or who did... This King of Wands had has someone in competition, or this King of Wands is competing with someone. There was a betrayal, and there's an emperor in the reverse. Don't tell me this dude's bisexual and has something going on too. So someone, this King of Wands has someone in a competition or there's someone competing or this King of Wands is competing with someone else. There's a clean slate, new start, heavy burden. So someone's persevering through. They're expecting a clean slate. Someone lost a significant amount of money and they didn't receive a gift with the Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. So someone could have withheld a gift or they could have lost their financial security, their family stability. Uh, because they withheld a gift from somebody because they betrayed them and then there's a message of truth a messenger page of swords someone could be speaking a truth about some sort of heavy burdens there's a message about some sort of heavy burdens that someone is facing so they may all of a sudden have started to be honest there was a split up of a family ten of cups situation so this could have been a divorce separation and some sort of swift action being taken so someone's going to send a message or receive a message quickly um and they're watching and seeing. They're, someone's taking some sort of action to watch some sort of communication. Or they're watching for some sort of action or communication. They're waiting for it. Someone's waiting for it. Because someone didn't get some money here. And this could be someone who's in co competition with another person. And this could be someone's spouse. And they're sitting back and watching some sort of communication being exchanged or going back and forth. That's a lot here. I'm going to reshuffle those. 
there's a lot to this story. Someone's getting some sort of recognition here. So someone's watching and waiting for someone to get some sort of accolade, recognition, or award, or be crowned a winner, victorious. There's a winner here for something. There's a thief here. So there's a thief here who's not getting some sort of expected money. Instead, there could have been a breakup within a family or a home because they travel towards someone else to make someone else a love offer. So this could be a whole other third party situation or this could be this King of Cups who's in their King of Wands energy, you know, like someone who's juggling a lot. There's some sort of financial balance that's going to be restored here. Someone's gifts, talent. Someone could want to gift something to someone uh, because of some sort of recognition or reward they're going to receive. Yeah, someone was trapped in a negative situation. Someone was bound, trapped, in jail, locked up mentally, physically, emotionally. They're not moving on to calmer waters. But someone here is reminiscing, having memories about another person. So someone wants to... Um, Someone from the past is going to be showing up for someone. This King of Wands could be the Queen of Pentacles X too. So the Queen of Pentacles is, could be dealing with multiple X's. Um, I don't know who this... I'd like to know which feminine this is that's dealing with this King of Wands. So someone's not... Someone was in despair here. Because they're not moving on to calmer waters. There was a betrayal here that caused someone to be in despair. There was a thief here that was in despair. There's a tower moment. Because someone is admiring someone else. Or is admiring someone. So there's a competition. Like this this could be like an, a feminine who's trying to compete with another feminine. Or it could be a masculine. Someone's ex who's trying to compete with another person who would be like a feminine their ex. There's a page of wands here. There's going to be communication. Someone wants to tell someone how much they admire them. A cycle needs to be closed out because something was not a victory. There's a barrier, though. So there's a queen of cups here in the reverse that didn't have a victory. And judgment has been called. So someone was in despair because there was a closing out of a cycle with the queen of cups. So the Queen of Cups was dealing with this King of Wands too. I told you there's a whole lot of shit going on here. So it's the Queen of Cups who was dealing with the King of Wands in this situation. Holy hell. And that was their ex. There's a lot of cycles that needed to be closed out. So this King of Wands could have been trying to make this Queen of Cups' life hell. This Queen of Cups could have decided they wanted to be with this Queen of Swords. Maybe there's two females that are questioning their sexuality or they're bisexual. There's a lot of sex. Like a lot of different sex stuff going on here. Um, call me to laugh at your problem. Fortune favors the brave in the reverse. So someone that laughs at someone else's problem once again is having bad luck. Uh, we all have baggage in the reverse, so they have bad luck. They're bringing baggage upon themselves. There's a betrayal here. Someone was, once again, was impatient. They needed to wait to do something. They became impatient, and there's a betrayal here. Something could be coming about in a matter of days. Someone wants to be left alone. Marriage is like a Jurassic Park. So there's someone here who's married, who's in a bad marriage, living separate lives. And the people that they're connected to have their own past and their own people that they're dealing with. This is a whole mess. Please, y'all just... There was a soul tie, soul connection to someone that someone was married to. And they won't let someone go. All these people could have past soul ties or someone that they're connected to from their past. Because every single person here has someone else that they're connected to in this situation. This is like the biggest Jerry Springer show of them fucking yet. Because everyone is connected to someone else. And then we have some people who are juggling multiple people. This is insane. And there are way too many connections. There are way too many cord cuttings that need to be had. Because someone feels like something was love at first sight. But someone's evil. Someone's not divine. 
So someone is in love with someone who is pure evil, or it could be this evil person who's in love with a divine femme or one of these females. I don't know. There's too much going on. Something happened in the last three to six months or is going to happen in the next three to six months. Someone has a sex addiction. I told you there's a whole, way too much sex going on here. Someone's arrogant. This is that false prophet, false teacher. It's the hierophant energy here, religious person. They hacked your accounts. Holy shit, man. They didn't find it again with you, so there was a separation with that. So someone separated from a hierophant. They're trying to make your life hell. Someone's suffering from a sex addiction. They were juggling. <clears throat> There's crooked judges that are involved in this. That came out sideways. That could have to do with children, divorce, custody. Crooked judges have similar religious beliefs, so they could be part of this cult, organization, religion. Someone needs to watch their spending. Someone is texting, late night phone call, second phone. I told you, there's so much. There's way too much going on here. Someone's confused about what they want to do. But someone moved on. It's over. So someone has moved on from someone else and someone's confused how they moved on. And they're stalking. Stalker alert. It's like there's way too much stalking going on. This is someone's twin flame that they were connected to or ex-twin flame. <clears throat> or someone you thought was your twin flame. But you really didn't know somebody. Holy hell, man. Holy hell. There was an investigation involved in something because someone who is really evil, who is not divine, they tried to unalive someone for real. Someone needed to be honest with themselves. They were out for revenge. So someone was being spiteful. They were out for revenge. They were just trying to hurt someone. This could be that religious person because children are involved. They wanted custody of a child. I thought this was high school. They're acting immature, so they're all up in your business. You got your own shit going on, so you have this ex you're dealing with, Divine Femme. And then there's other Divine Femmes that could be connected to this who ended up in a third-party situation, whether they knew it or not. And there's a same-sex situation going on here. And then there's a masculine juggling, juggling two other feminines. Oh, my effing goodness. This is a clusterfuck from hell. <laughs> this is a clusterfuck from hell. Oh my gosh. Okay, so someone went broke. Go for broke. Someone wanted a Pisces to be broke in the fall. March could be significant. Fire sign Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. Someone's being watched with an eagle eye. Excuse me. Cancer, sign, Tor uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign, ripped off. So someone's being watched, a cancer could be being watched, or a cancer is watching an Earth sign because they got ripped off or they ripped someone off here. Somebody is not in love with someone. Something was not about love. They're chomping at the bit. Someone could be chomping at the bit. Someone's not in love with them. Taurus is getting caught red-handed. Someone is pissed off because someone doesn't love them, want to be with them. In the winter time, they wanted someone to be as poor as a church mouse. So this could be someone who was out for spite, vengeance. Because someone didn't want to be with them. Someone got rejected. And they got caught red-handed doing something. Someone has to start over from scratch, and, but they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. But someone here has high hopes. They're getting a clean slate. Someone struck out, though. Three strikes are out. So someone's getting a clean slate, and someone did something way too many times. And there's a twist of fate, and there's no time like the present. So there's something that's going to be happening quickly here for somebody. Someone's getting a clean slate, and someone has a whole hell of a lot of karma to pay for... This vindictive shit they're doing, problems they're causing. 
Yeah, there's someone who's pissed off. Am I pissing you off and angry? Yeah, someone's really pissed off. <clears throat> there's like a lot of hatred. Like a lot of vengeance. All because someone's going to be happy as a clam because they're a force of nature. This is... It could have been something that happened in the morning time or before morning. Someone was expecting to get a moment of glory, moment of truth. Someone's being avoided like the plague. So you're happier because you're avoiding somebody like the plague. So you've cut someone out of your life and they're missing you and they're pissed off because you're a good, kind soul. But once been twice shy, you're not interested in dealing with this person because you know they're evil. They could have been... You could have been one of the people that this person was juggling. And then you could have finally started to decide to um, start seeing someone else. They did something to you in May. You don't want to kiss and make up with them. A Gemini could be significant. Calm before the storm in the reverse with an Aquarius. They're barking up the wrong tree with somebody younger. So they could have ended up hooking up with somebody younger or you did. And someone's going to lose their temper, lose their cool on a Saturday. Because they refuse to accept it is what it is. And they want you to have memories of them. Good memories of them. But you don't have good memories of a Capricorn. Because they didn't get their wake up call. Someone here is going to be getting arrested though. This wolf at your door. And they know it's coming. They're waiting for it. So someone did some shady shit. All because they were her over you not wanting to be with them. Because they couldn't be faithful to you to save their life. F could be a significant person, place, or thing. M. Z. U. Yeah, someone's definitely fuming. Fumes. Fumes are like coming out of this person's head. E. H D O Do one more E <clears throat> FMZ U E E B H D O I hope this helps have a good day